Welcome back guys or welcome if you are new here. I'm Eva and in today's video I will show you five Google Sites hacks you need to know. Let's get started. And if you stick with me until the end of this video, I will also give you extra bonus free HTML codes you can use on your website build with Google Sites. Hack number one, you can set up email on your Google Sites and let your site visitors to contact you by sending you email. So let's say we have image here with the text and we will change this text to say messages to find out more. And then if you go to canva.com and search for any email icon, you can choose any icon you like and then simply replace this image or insert new image on your Google site. Then once you have done that, click on insert the link and then simply type mail to and insert your email address. Click to apply the link and publish your site to save the changes. Now let's have a look. If you simply click on this icon, it will connect to your email browser and you can start typing email. Hack number two, how to insert a post from your social media. So let's head to Instagram and then I will select one of the posts on Instagram. Then you click on these three dots and then click the copy embed code. Once you have done that, head back to Google site, double click and click on embed, then embed code, paste your code, click next, you will see a preview and then you can simply click insert and that's it, how you can embed posts from your social media to Google site. Sites. Hack number three, use text boxes to create empty space, especially on the footer. So if you want to create some empty space on your Google site, you can simply double click and insert the empty text box and that will gonna create space. Now, if you want to move this box, you can place it under your footer and your footer won't get cut off straight away on your web page. So that's how it was looking before and that's how it looks now. And you can use this method anywhere in between your pages and elements. Hack number four, you can embed entire page on Google Sites. If you come on pages, then click on this icon right here and then go on full page embed. You need to give your page a name. I'm just going to call it new then click on done. Now from here, you can add embed code. So if we head to the sites like canva.com, you can design entire website pages on a Canva, insert all the links and change all the elements right here. We have done a lot of tutorials about how to use Canva on this channel. And if you would like to try out Canva's a premium pro version to design web pages, I will leave the link in this video description. You will be able to do it for free for 30 days and use all these elements and pre-designed website templates. So if you come on canvas and then click on share, then if you scroll down and click on more and scroll down again, you will be able to see embed right here. Click on embed and then simply copy HTML code. Then head back to Google site, click on embed, embed by code, paste your code, click on next and insert. And that's how you can design entire pages on Canva and then embed entire page on Google site. Tip number five, you can import teams on Google site. So as you might know, Google sites have a custom teams. So when you have done one custom team on one of your sites, you can come here and click on import, then navigate to the site where you have applied your custom team, click on it. it will Will load the team and then you can select the team from the site you have done before and import entire team and then you can apply it on your existing site. Now, as promised, free HTML codes. To assess free HTML codes, all you have to do is come to the URL landing.meritmastering.com slash code dash product. And then you will be on a page looking like this, where you need to enter your email address. And afterwards, you will be able to download all these codes, including social media icons. You can get codes to implement Stripe payments on your Google sites. Also, some custom HTML codes display product images. And and even use some buttons and forms for subscribing or for contact pages. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, give it a like. If you know any more hacks you would like to share, please type them down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. For more videos like this, click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. For now, go ahead and watch this video as a next one and I will see you there.